Hello everyone, welcome back to Trevor Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game No One Survived, and this is now episode 87. Well, we're going to go for a run. Now, let me just check this. We still don't know what's happening with the lambs. We know there's two female... two hens, that is, two chickens. There's a male and female pig, but still haven't worked out what's going on with the lambs. Anyway, um, we're going to go for a run to get some ammo, and the best place I can think of going is uh, the police station. So I'm pretty certain I've got all the gear that I need. I've got a crowbar. <coughs> hmm. Maybe we'll need to take that in with us, actually. Might be better if I just carry it with me, I think, otherwise I'm going to forget it when I get out of the car. But, um, yeah, we're going to try not to use lockpicks if we can help it. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to grab them, just in case. I've got a fair few, so it's not that big a deal. Better off having them than not having them. Alright, we'll go off to the police station and I think we'll just see if we can get... There's probably a little bit of food. I think last time there was a little bit of food there, but uh, I'll speed things up and I'll meet you guys down at the police station. Alright guys, we're kind of just before we get to the police station here. We'll try to get reasonably close, but you know what happens. They hear me and they come flying out, as usual. Here they come. Alright, weapons ready. Get that guy that has the green muck. That guy. Don't you come near me. Or you. I'm just looking for the headshots, you know? I was wondering why there wasn't anyone on the other side coming towards me, but it looks like they are, they're just a tad slow. Sorry lady, you gotta go. I'm not sure what that guy's doing. He's like, panicking. Uh oh, here comes the police officer. Oh, he's doing shit, he's doing good. Gotta do some hip work. Reload, Trev. See ya. Oh my goodness. How far backwards do I have to go? <laughs> uh, sometimes you just think, there should be a gun where you can just do one bullet with one person. Even if it is in the chest, strong enough to... No, here comes the whole plan. Whoops. Don't you just love those headshots? Dad, that's what we need all the time. <sighs> Oops. Jeez. I was just looking at my ammo, just thinking, just how much of this stuff am I going through? Now, oh, look, there's still a dawdler. Like, that, they must have a really long um, distance to be able to hear people coming. I mean, I know I just said before, where are they all coming from? I know they're coming from the police station, but, you know. Listen, buddy. None today. Oh, they're still in there! Oh, for crap's sake, I'm thinking they've come... Th oh, these are the knuckleheads with them. Um, no idea what's going on. Are we finished, finally? <laughs> I just want to get in there. Oh, man. Whoops. Need those legs. Who was it? Was it Eric that said about the buildings across the road? I'm thinking, yeah, I haven't been in there either, actually. Oh, man. 
these are like the really slow dawdler type guys. Am I finally in the building? It makes you think they're respawning, but I don't think so. I think they're just, they're kind of hearing me. Ah, oh dear. This is where I can sometimes get a little bit overwhelmed. Eh, uh, can I get that one? Was that, oh. For a second there I thought it might have been on the other side. I'm not taking any of the 444 ammo at all. If I can help it, I might grab one of them. I've got one on me, but, you know, I won't take any of that. I'll take that. Nothing there. Yeah. Ammo, ammo, ammo. And of course, the the whole issue is, um, yeah, you end up being filled up. Ah, oh, man. Maybe I should have done... See, remember Tyler was mentioning this too at one stage in the comments. I'm thinking, yeah, I kind of keep forgetting about it, but it does make sense. Um, basically, just make a cart and le leave it here. And that's about right. Um, and then you can kind of take it in and just take all your... Actually, that's what you should do. Bring a whole bunch of extra bags down here. Or maybe just loot... The uh, yeah, that's what I should do, is actually make a, um, whoops, make a, um, cart, and then if I find bags, just put them in. Ah, uh, see, this is, this is good stuff for, um, trading, like Jimmy was saying. Thought that was, that's just behind the inventory image. Oh man, this stuff's worth its weight in gold. As Jimmy says, it's the currency, basically. Oh my goodness, am I going to be able to fill all this in? I'm not, like, I'm specifically after the ammo and stuff, but if I can get most of this stuff in as well... That kind of makes it all worthwhile, I think. Um, I'll just do that... I think that's it for this room. Okay, we'll have to go back to the car. <laughs> what the hell we did was one room. Alright. Hopefully, we can get to the car and back without them respawning. That would be a nightmare. I remember Eric saying also about the smaller car might not make as much noise. I should look into that too. That that really sounds worth it. Um, okay, so this one's done and dusted. And now we're empty, right? Yes. Just checking. Just checking. Here we go for food and water. Actually, I just remembered I put a tin of food in that other bag. Yeah, for crying out loud, look, he's exhausted already. Back into the police station. Uh, which way are we going, Trevor? We'll go this way. We'll go left. Well, this is actually quite a good place. Oh, I don't have my lock pits or my. Oh, for crying out loud, Trev. We'll loot as many other areas as we can, I guess. Before someone else hears us. We've got all those guns. I mean, don't forget, we could take some of the guns and use them as trading um, options, I guess. Sell a gun for a um, solar panel, I guess, at Sahara the Trader. A lot of guns. Alright, people, I need the ammo. Oh, steel. Well, I could. Uh, so the only thing worthwhile doing is probably just the sledgehammer, I guess. I think I'll get three out of that. Cool. I'm just going to go back to the shoddy for a sec. Uh, I don't really want either of those. I mean, I could, but I'm trying to prioritise a little bit of what I take, I suppose. Take that. What's this guy got? That. Oops. Maybe I've 
been here before, who knows? Is this steel? Oh, the whole thing's steel. Uh, the other thing is, I suppose, I could... If I, if I come across a steel crowbar, I could use that. But the funny thing is, upstairs, those locked rooms, I need the steel crowbar which is probably in the rooms to unlock the doors to get into the room, so if that makes sense. Actually, I tell you what, I'm going to swap you for you. See, that's a steel pickaxe. And a steel axe. I'm not going to take stuff from these guys. Can I put it? Why won't it go? Oh, because that's in the way. <laughs> grabbed it a couple of times and went, it's just not working in this inventory. Alright. Anything in these last few? Otherwise I'm going to have to go back to the car. I guess I could ignore the door and come back and do it at the last moment. I suppose, yeah, I might, might end up doing that. Alright, back to the AK. So we will come, or if I remember, I'll come back to that door. I did say if I remember, because you know. I sometimes do say that in the games, and then I just finish the finish the episode, and then later on I'm thinking about stuff, and I go, ah, I was going to do this, I was going to do that. <laughs> mm. I can't remember whether this room really had a great deal in these cupboards or not. Oh, that was all the military gear. Is this all clothes? Wow. I mean, that is pretty good gear, actually, but... Yeah, they're, they're good cupboards, actually, to get through if you were just starting off. And you wanted some decent, um... Armoured gear. Uh, you know what? Actually, that works out well. I'll drink that. Still got three up there that I could use, and I'm going to clean up with it. I'm going to put it up there somewhere. Uh, I'm actually going to eat the dog food, apparently. Heather's always impressed when I I eat the dog food, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of like... Yeah, okay, maybe you wouldn't do it in real life, but it's a game. True, it's a game. Look, I'm kind of doing much better because of that. In terms of getting my stats up. I don't need the books. Probably more books. Fine. Can't search the tables. What's in these cupboards? Ooh. Gee whiz, Jimmy. We're going to have an absolute ton of these guys at the end. I suppose there's going to come a time when we're just going to go, well, we don't need the mods anymore because we've got so many stored away. What's uh, in here? There's a normal crowbar. Hmm. Okay. And the rest of it's just iron. Okay. I'm pretty certain the iron one kind of gives you just, just as much chance of forcing, but I guess it doesn't last as long. To be honest, we don't really have a, a massive number of doors to unlock. There's a lot of um, cool stuff in there. Can't get in that one? No. Alright, we might go right around the loop, if we can. And back to that locked door. It's also possible that we'll run out of space. So I tell you what, someone in here hasn't been very um very tidy, have they? What a mess. I wonder if that's meant to represent the fact that the the zombies might have been in here creating some carnage chaos. That one, that one and that one. The rest of it can stay. Now, I think that door's outside. Pretty certain that all this stuff is really just clothes. 
Yeah, that's that's pretty high padded um, numbers, isn't it? I've got all that. I don't think I'm missing anything by not going through there. That kind of doesn't have a great deal in it, does it? It does have this. That's got blueprints in it. What was all this? Interrogation room. Hmm. Don't think I'm missing much. Don't think there was really anything much in here, was there? Maybe a little bit on the floor. So we're almost back to where we start from, is that right? That's the other side of the briefing room. There's the front door. Okay, there was stuff in here, wasn't there? Pretty certain there was some reasonable stuff. Ah, oh, there you go. That's the food I'm after. Uh, let's consume this guy. Uh, fatigue, fatigue, 20. Alright, we'll do this one, because I know it's down to 70, or just all 69, so... I'll take these guys with me. Wow, and these. And that. That's pretty good. I've just kind of fixed up some of my food issues. Not bad, Trev. Not bad. Just more books. Alright, while well, I've got the crowbar on me. Well, that was good timing. What? Police department, restrooms. What do you do? Just squat on the floor? That's a bit weird. Alright, so which one? I can't remember now. Do you have to have... Um, hang on a sec. Can I put my gun in here? Not really. can put it on the floor though. There you go. You know what though? i tell you what, at, at least this guy's... Um, A little bit quicker at opening the locked bits and pieces than um, the guy is in scum. Salt, special forces, special forces. Yeah, not really worth it for me. I've, like, I've already got all that. Alright, how chockers am I? Um, yeah, probably do need to go back to the car before we go ransacking the second level. Fingers crossed they don't respawn. This is a reasonable distance from the police station for me to have to run. Alrighty, which one should I grab? Maybe that? Okay, so we have to put this stuff... Oh, I am empty, right? Actually, let me just grab this initial... This, is, this was the first one we had. I'm taking out the food and the crowbar. Because I need... I definitely need that now for the... Should I have enough ammo? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's put that in there. So it's almost like, a, I mean, apart from this army assault bag, the two biggest loot bags are actually, the hiking kind of bags are actually in the car at the moment. I don't believe, all those guys that were running out, I'm pretty certain were actually in all of the buildings. That makes sense. So I don't really think I'm gonna end up finding anyone else in here. It's just a matter of looting where I can. Actually, why don't we go this way instead? Because I know it's that door, those two doors there, I really want to get oh, open up kind of thing. What was these ones again? Was this medicines? Well, no. Uh, there is a steel machete. Come, hang on. Is that steel? Oh, I'll take the steel axe. Makes it so. Oh, there's another steel pickaxe. Eh. Uh, Trev. Probably end up doing a little bit more mining pretty soon, I think, so it might be a good idea to try to keep them. 
Yeah, I'm getting a fair bit of um, cool steel gear. I was trying to remember what it was. Um, haven't even got to the room next door. Holy doolies. Hang on, I'm going to have to do this. I can't go disappear without having some steel to take back, I suppose. What happened to all the ammo, Trev? Gee. Not really finding that much in the way of, um... The 7.62 ammunition I really need. So that should be five? Yeah. Alright. So hang on, I get... Do I get one from the... Machetes? It kind of... It almost kind of feels like it's not worth it. Let's have a look. Yeah, I only get one. Damn it. Give me more game, give me more. Alright, hang on. We have to do the same thing me thing thing again. Back to the crowbar. Hang on, I've got the crowbar on me, dudes. Do I need the I need the log picks? Uh, hang on. Hang on a second. <laughs> I've got the crowbar in my hands. Really? I thought there was an F option, or you just can't. Gee, not even an option comes up there. Alright, hang on. Sorry, people. Let's just, um... Gee whiz, it already is fairly bright. Feels quite dark to me. Well, that's the medical one. Well, that didn't work. I'm gonna have to go and get my lockpicks. Alright, whatever space I've got left, how about we go through and try to get all as much medis medicine out of here as we can. While we're here. Now hang on, this was mainly books, wasn't it? Wasn't there a bunch of cupboards somewhere that had the medic medicine stuff in it? I'll have a look down here. I thought there was one side that had them in. Or am I thinking of something else? There's a lot of books in here. No, I might be wrong. Maybe this was just all, all books. Yeah, it must be. I could still be wrong. There's a few in there that I've kind of just missed. Uh, so hang on a sec. Where should we go looking for ammunition and stuff? That's just iron stuff. I wonder if it's any different if I've got a steel crowbar. I, I'm pretty certain. See, they're just iron things. I mean, I guess you could just get bring back a whole bunch of iron stuff with you, I suppose. Like iron ingots and stuff, which isn't isn't a bad thing. I kind of still need a lot of that. No, don't need those guys. Wow. All them. It always seems like a weird room, that one. This is the same, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Okay, let's see what they've got in here. A few books in there. More books in there. don't think there's anything else there for me to investigate. Or is it one of these that had the medicine stuff in it? That's got coffee beans. Aha, uh -huh. in terms of food, I can drink that. I can clean up, and I can clean up again, and I'm back to hunt. There you go. More coffee. Coffee beans, that one, that one. No? More food? And just that. Hang on, what happens if I... Carbs and proteins... If I start growing a tail... Um, because I'm eating so much dog food, I'll blame Heather, right? 
Which one's got the most? Uh, yeah, I'm just watching the the fatigue ones down a bit. Does this one have it? No, it's got lights. A few clothes here and there. More clothes. See, that's got a large backpack in it. Can I get to these two? I can. More lights. It's like a summer. I oh know, there's a wool cap in there as well. It's a combination of a few things. Anything interesting in this last cupboard? Oh, wow, that's a lot of backpacks. Alrighty. Um, hang on, we went this way, didn't we? So. Did that. I don't think we've done this. At least worth seeing what's in these cupboards. Ooh. Oh man, all that's kind of worth having, I suppose. I'll skip the bandages, I've already got one anyway, but. Can't search that. It almost looks like that should be a searchable box of sorts. about time I got some ammo. That's just pistols, that's more pistols, and more pistols, wow. Oh, now I can search a little box. Now that's kind of weird, isn't it? I thought I was not getting much in the way of ammo and it's in this tiny little box. Ah, oh, there you go. Antibiotics, adrenaline, adrenaline, antibiotics. Certainly the antibiotics, um, I don't mind getting. Not too fussed about the adrenaline. What is this going to be? All pistols? I oh, know there's a few mods can't fit them in. Uh, I can fit a bit of ammo in. Oh wow. Okay. one tin of food and maybe put that in and that's about it so we've still got that locked room to look at yeah this is just going to be closed though isn't it I'm pretty certain this is just a room for clothes and this is kind of looking out the back I guess okay so there is uh, really just this, these two locked doors here, so let's go back out, excuse me, change over the bag, hopefully there's no one out here, all of a sudden I thought I heard a noise, let's go back in with one more bag and then just see if we can unlock the, the rooms, be good. Which bag? Maybe this guy? So we can put that back there. Pick up this. I've got my free bag, but what I need... Now, was it this guy? Yeah. Okay. So, we'll take our lockpicks. Scoot back into the police station. From the outside, when you think about it, it is a pretty big building. Take a little while to loot the whole thing. And now I should be able to, well, depending on my really bad skill. Uh, where is it? It's around there somewhere. Wow. I fluked it again. Thank you, thank you. Oh, well, if this room gives me a reasonable amount of ammo, at least I'm kind of not feeling too bad about using up everything that I did so far to get in here in the first place. 
that's more like it. That kind of levels of 7.62 ammo is awesome. Thank you, thank you. I might have to swap out to another weapon that just uses 9mm or something for a while, or 5.56 maybe. That one, that one is all good. That one, that one. Take that, that, and that. Yeah, there's a fair bit of ammo up here, eh? Uh, I will take the mods. Kind of have to go o off camera. I have to run back and kind of sort these out again. Might have to even make another couple of um, mods or trader selling. Although I do have a trader selling box at home or chess, but um, yeah, it doesn't take much to fill that up. It's almost like I need another. Although I have got some spare. Um, I don't tell me I'm not going to fit everything in. Jeez, you're kidding me. Getting down to the last few boxes, but um, wow, that's about it. Hang on, I'll unlock these and just see. So, so far, there's a bit of steel stuff. There's a few more mods. What else have we got? A bit more steel stuff. More steel stuff. Ah, oh, there you go. That's our steel line of steel stuff steel axes and whatnot. I think I need to get one more bag and I should be finished. Yeah, steel. Oh my goodness. Yeah, th this is one of the best places for getting um, steel gear, I suppose. Alright, let's go and grab another backpack. Hopefully I can fit it all in that and um, that should be good. So we sprint back. Just to do that now. Was this one still empty? It was. All right. So we'll put this one that looks exactly the same back in. Pick up that one. As long as we've got our machete. Yeah, I know, dude. I'm sorry. Struggling a little bit with his uh, stamina. So, right down here again on the last wall. Um, take both of them. I don't think there's any chance of me getting into any trouble here, so I reckon that's worthwhile just grabbing a few steel ingots out of these guys. What do we get from a fire axe again? Is it two or three? One? Man. Can't you get one from the... <laughs> the fire axes aren't really worth doing that, are they? Alright. Every one of the steel ingots is... truly worth doing, I guess, because uh, you'll need basically one of every other type of ingot just to make one steel ingot I think it is so yeah they're, they're worth it right that's done take the steel axe you almost feel like throwing out all your iron stuff because you just want to deal with your steel stuff because the durability is so much bigger so much better I only get one steel ingot for dismantling a steel machete, right? So just let me check this out for a second. So, steel axe, steel pickaxe, steel axe. Steel crowbar. Okay, if I dismantle this, I've currently got seven steel ingots, so how much does it add? And don't forget, I've got steel crowbars at home. You get two. Okay. It's worth kind of doing it as far as I'm concerned. 
And I was just thinking, I'll leave one. So hang on, this one here where I left one behind, if I just, um, hang on a second, if I put the bad one in there, the new one there, and I just meant, oops, to make sure I have it on me, I think. And I dismantle it. Do I still get one? Because after using it, it'll go down a little bit, but it won't be as bad as what this one was. Oh wow! See that? It didn't actually give me anything. Oh, that's interesting. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Well, um, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to do. I've got some a little bit of extra food with me. I did definitely get some ammo back, but whether it was enough to cover what I used initially, I don't know. But I certainly have got a fair few mods. Ones that I can use to the, give to the trader. But yeah, so we've done pretty much everything we needed to do in today's episode, especially trying to get some more ammo, I suppose. Um, off camera, I'll put everything else away. I'll drive back to the base and I'll put everything else away. Is it coming morning? Oh, it is. Six o'clock. But, um, yeah. Um, I'll do that. Uh, next episode, we might have to go for another hunt for some more bricks and cement, which will be interesting. See how much gear that we can get ready to uh, continue upgrading the horde base. But that's what the plan will be. Anyway, people, I'll leave the episode here. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, you can certainly help out and support the channel by smashing the like button for the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can mega help the channel out by subscribing. Alright everyone, thanks so much. Cheers.